Lack of power in Puerto Rico creates life or death situation for those with medical needs. Yayuya, Puerto Rico, when Hurricane Fiona completely knocked out flowers and waters to the mountain town of Yayuya, in the heart of Puerto Rico, it quickly became a life or death matter for the Luis de Uyges Ramos, who has throat cancer and a trust ceremony. The Jesus Ramis is one of many Puerto Ricans for whom electricity is essential to survival, and each day without it brings an increasing sense of urgencies. He relies on life-saving electricity for everything, from using a blender to prepare his liquid meal, a refrigerator to keep his food, and an adjustable bed that keeps him in the position he needs to be in to sleep safely and the medical supplies required to remain and care for his trusty ostomy. Although he can no longer speak, the Jesus Ramos 63, a bald man with patches of white in his beard, gesture around his home on the Thursday in a white t-shirt and stripped flan pajamas as he pointed out each piece of puzzle needed to maintain his health needs. He really needs these things. It's an emergency, his daughter Ashley Pires, 26, said in Spanish, speaking from the ground floor of his family home up a winding road in Jajuja, a region where landslide cut off roads and left bridged brown mud, down trees and split branches. Most of nearly 1.5 million power customers in Puerto Rico are still without electricity after an island-wide blackout, as reported Sunday about an hour before Hurricane Fiona's eyes even entered the island. As of Friday afternoon, 601,000 customers has their electricity restored, which represents roughly 41% of all customers, according to Luma Energy, the company in charge of power transmission and distribution in Puerto Rico. Most of the customers who've been reconnected to the grid are in the northeast, where the storm caused less damage. As Puerto Ricans enter their fifth day without power, concerns over fuel accessibility on an island force to rely on backup generators to power homes and even critical infrastructure such as hospital and telecommunications towers have started to rise. Long lines are starting to form in gas station. Businesses, including grocery stores and pharmacies, are also starting to close temporarily over the lack of power or fuel to operate their generator. Government's official on the island insists there's no shortage of fuel, pointing out that there's enough supply for 60 days. Distribution challenges are to blame for recent disruption in fuel accessibility, which are being addressed Puerto Rico Secretaries of State Oma Marrero said at a news conference late Thursday morning. Without electricity, there's no health. After learning about the Gigi's Ramos condition, Ivoni Rodique Velwa, executive advisor of Direct Reflief Puerto Rico, and a team arrive at his home in Jajuja on Thursday afternoon, bringing a generator, direct relief, is a non-governmental organization that donates medical supplies and other relief to the communities. Dejesus Ramos made the sign of the cross and looked up, thanking God as they sent up the generator at his home. It is very important to understand that health is very linked to having the source of power, Rodike Wilwa said. Without electricity, there's no health. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.